Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to draw a flowchart using Apple Keynote. Before we start, we need to decide. We want to keep it like this, horizontal, or maybe you will need a vertical document to print it out. You can change that in document settings. Over here, top right corner. Normally it should be set up as widescreen, something you can see right now, but you can pick a custom size. And if you flip those numbers, you will end up with vertical slide size like this. So it's narrow and long, maybe easier to print for you when you got like long flowchart. All right, so this is also possible, but I'm guessing most of us will just simply display this flowchart as a slide in our slideshow. So let's go back to widescreen. All right, there's nothing on it. This is blank layout. And now we are ready to start. We're going to use shape, as you may guess, shape tool, where we can find all basic building blocks for our flowchart. So in geometry, we can select the first block like this. Then in basic, we need to jump back here to create the one for the process over here maybe you need some decision in your flowchart so let's use the diamond one for decision making and let's use three different shapes like that that would be all right we can modify the appearance by selecting objects and visiting the format tab on the right here can change the fill color you can add border to it border is this stroke around the object all right now if I double click on it one two I can type inside oops I cannot see my text I think the text color is white right now so I will change this to sorry not the fill color but the text color so move from style to text and change the color over here and here it is okay this is my process so step one and similar thing here and this will be some kind of question inside so let's put just question mark temporary here all right, we got some basic building blocks for flowchart. How can we connect them all together? You may think that to go just go to shapes, basics, and there's like lines or even arrows, right? So let's try this method. If I use this arrow here, in between them, I can modify the thickness, I can reverse the arrow head like this all right almost good right but the problem is if you modify change elements in your flowchart the arrow is kind of like just any additional shape you need to change it manually all the time so there's a better way of doing that there's a special connector to connect shapes go to shape basic and at the top you will see this guy over here if you hover your mouse, you will see that this is connection line. Click on that. Stick one end of the connection line to the first object. Another end to the second one. You can use this green point to modify the position of it. All right, let's keep it like this. Of course, in the format panel on the right side, I can change the thickness of the line, no problem. I can even add arrowhead for it. Okay, so what's the difference? Take a look. If I move this object, the line will follow. They are now connected. So this is the proper way of connecting objects, of connecting your blocks while building flowchart or any other diagram using Keynote. All right, so we can do exactly the same thing between this step one and decision block. Or we can use a quick tool. If I select two objects, at the same time, I can click connect over here in my toolbar and it's done, it's connected. You may think now, whoop, how you got this 
feature there in my toolbar, toolbar I cannot see connect because you need to add it first. Let me show you how you can add connect to your toolbar to speed up this process. Simply right click on your toolbar and select customize toolbar. Here are all tools, tools you can drag and drop to your toolbar. So simply let me remove that and take a look. Search for connect, connect, connect over here and drag and drop it to your toolbar. After that, click done. And from now on, you, can, you will be able to see it over here at the top. All right. So let's make a few more blocks. Now I can simply copy and paste elements using command C, command V shortcut. All right, few more to connect. So connect this one and this one. I can click on the first object, hold shift and click on the second one. Click connect. Nice. Again, use the format panel to modify the thickness of the line. You can add arrowhead to it. This is the wrong one at the end over here. And then you can also play with the position of it like this. All right. Same thing for those two objects. You can also select both using just mouse selection. Click connect here. Or alternatively, you can also, also use the shape. Select the connector line from here and then you need to stick it to the first object and to the second one manually. All right. Then I can connect this guy with this guy. Like this. And this is final step over here. We can connect them using this quick connection tool that we just add to our toolbar. Or alternatively, I can undo that, go to shape and use the special connection line. Don't use normal lines. This one will do. The one with this green dot in the middle. This dot will help us to position the line. And as I mentioned, thanks to this smart connection line, they all stick together. Even though you will move some elements later on, it will not destroy your flowchart. Like this one. Take a look. If I move this element now, there are three connections. All three connections will follow step B. So that's nice. Of course, you can play with fonts, colors and sizes to make it beautiful, whatever you need. You can just use the style panel here. The style is for the shape. The text is for the text inside the shape. All right. So if you struggle to change the text color, it may be because you are here in the style. So in the style, we can decide about the overall color of the shape. And in the text panel, we can change the text font, size and color. All right. So this is how you can build a simple flowchart using Apple Keynote. I hope this is helpful. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more tutorials. See you in the next one. Bye.